Right, here we go. Vlog time. Uh, just fed and watered, raring to go. Uh, and once again, this is going to be one of these small ones. Um, I just don't have the waffle in me anymore. Um, I'm losing my mojo or... <laughs> See that? He knows I'm pointing to him. So you just <laughs> you nut job. <laughs> uh, sorry, I should be talking to you. Um, right, first things first. Uh, there's a young man that goes by the name Neil, Mr. Neil B. Uh, I'll say no more than that. Um, who has, in the past, uh, has helped me out with uh, sourcing something for a an atty that converted it into a squonker. And uh, he's now also sorted me out with something else. Um, this is a Lucas uh, Medieval India uh, squonker. It's a DNA 40 and it's just... <sighs> this, this was a present. Uh, and... Um, <laughs> I'm not actually sure what to say about that. I've, I've, yeah. Very lucky. I'm well aware of just how lucky I am. Uh, so Neil, yeah. <laughs> I can't say any more than that. Uh, he also sent me on. This is the um, the this is the no name toy. No, no, it's not the toy. It's is the name in the box. Who's the box? Um. Yes, it's by no name. It's it's <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Um and there's probably people looking at the screen going, it's the uh no name toy. I'm sure it's toy. Um no name toy. Yeah, yes. No toy. <laughs> Why do you watch these videos? Seriously. Look at yourself. Look at who you're watching right now and how screwed in the head I really am and think to yourself, could I not be doing something more constructive than watching this old feck wit in a shed? Forget things. Um, yeah, so it's the No Toy RDA. Right. Um, Excuse the gap here. Uh, there's a little gap there. I do find that's the thing about this uh, Lucas. It's it's got a very very shallow 510, very shallow, uh, even fully adjusted. Um, it's yeah. Um, I think it's only about four mil deep. Um, that's all I'm getting on it. But the the no toy. Is that what I said it was called? Yeah, no toy dripper. Um, it's this isn't half bad. It's I think it's eighteen mil. Could be wrong in that. I actually have calipers sitting right in front of me here, just for moments like this. Eighteen mil. Um, you can get it, it's a, a you can set this up to be a proper mouth to lung little squonking at it, but you can also get a very restricted lung hit as well. But that's um, at 20 watts on a zero. Well, it's just as good as a one ohm coil, uh, which I think is perfect for that kind of thing. But you can take this down to as tight as a Nats Juff. Uh, you can get it really tight. Uh, but Neil, once again, ha ha, thank God. Um, right, what else have I been poofing away with? Poofing? Poofing away with? Uh, I have been. I, I did a review for this. Um, and yeah, it went up. And what can I tell you? Oh, sorry, I'm squonking here. What is this? Oh, there we go. We have liquid. Um, the SQ box by GB Mods, uh, good old Mr. Shorrock, uh, did a lovely job. I gushed over this, and um, Go away. Uh, it's all in the review. It's not even a review. 
Sometimes I feel. <laughs> oh, um, I find it hard sometimes to, to to do a video on something that I've purposely bought for myself because I I know it's going to be awesome. I know I'm going to love it. And whereas when I do other reviews, it's kind of like I'm doing it for a a business. It's almost it's different to me. Um, I'm always honest, but it's it's yeah, it's kind of strange. And I've got I mean, there's another. I'm vaping away with Jim's. Uh, I guess two six Dini Dini two six. <laughs> It's a Yee Hee board uh, with a 26650 battery inside. I have the Aromamizer Plus on top at 45 watts. And it's a bit cloudy. It's a bit cloudy. Um, yeah, Jim does, he does exceptionally good mods. Very good. Um, I've also been uh, puffing away with this, uh, the Minikin V2 with its posh clothes on uh, and the doggy or the doge tank. Uh, listen, the doge tank is, I did the review for it, I said it wasn't shit, I still maintain it's not shit. I thoroughly enjoy uh, blowing chucking clouds with this, really do, I uh, really enjoy it. Uh, I think it's an excellent tank. Yes, you can get cheaper ones. Uh, yeah you can you can get cheaper ones uh, but I do think with the rebuildable the coil 2mm or 6mm it's not a bad little package uh, and it's built extremely well it's built very well uh, I'm quite surprised by that but I did a review for that so if you're bored uh, you can go and watch that um, also this week uh, I have this arrived. Is that all I've got? Yeah, that's about all I've got for you just now. This thing. This is the the new the new mod, and uh, this is a kit. This comes as a kit, or you can buy the tank separately, which is the Nautilus Two, and this is the Zelos. Yeah, it is. Um, let's check there. Uh, now, the Nautilus Two. Let's just cut through the crap, shall we, with a big knife. Um, the Nautilus 2 vapes like the Nautilus 1. It's as simple as that. It uses the same coils. Um, with the 1.8 ohm coil, uh, the BVC coil, and the Nautilus 2, it's exactly like vaping on the Nautilus Mini in the past. It's just the same. Uh, Obviously, you can use the mini Triton coils. You know the you had the uh, yeah, one point eight ohm. This is a true mouth to lung tank. Uh, I actually have a zero point seven ohm coil in it at sixteen point five watts. Yeah. Yeah, jaw, yeah, mmm. Flavour's gorgeous. I really like the flavour from it. That's uh, no surprise. That's my goose juice in there. Um, I really want, because I know what, exactly what it tastes like at its best, and it does taste really, really good in this little tank. Um, now, things to point out. It looks like a baby's bottle. It does. It looks like a baby's bottle there. It also looks a bit like a fancy goldfish tank. And to fill it, you unscrew the top, like so, hoik, and that's it. So you've kind of like got the, think of the Cleto, you know, with the Cleto, if you want to change the coil in the Cleto, you actually have to have an empty tank. Same thing here. Uh, so I don't know if that's actually a backward step from the original Nautilus, but mm, I don't know. Um, I've got the airflow fully open, and uh, fully open. It's a very restricted mouth to lung, any lower than that, and it's mouth to lung all the way, baby. Um, the mod is 23 millimeters across the top there. Uh, I think it's a 50 watt with a 2,300 milliamp hour battery. All this information could be wrong because I've not really checked it out yet. Um, 
yeah so uh, I'll, I'll get a review for this out and listen everybody their goldfish their dog and their budgie will be sitting reviewing this gear because they sent them out to everybody to review uh, I shall do my utmost best to let you know how I feel about it um, I'm a huge fan of the Nautilus. I mean, John Martin knows nothing. Um, he really knows nothing. Uh, no, kidding aside, the, that's an in-joke. I'm sorry, shouldn't do in-jokes. Uh, working in a vape shop for almost three years now, um, I, I have lost count of how many Nautilus coils I have sold. Mountains of them, absolute mountains of them, and Nautilus tanks, and they're great. They, they do what they're supposed to do. Um, they do what they're supposed to do. And if you get genuine coils, uh, not counterfeit ones, because there's lots of shitty ones out there, uh, you can usually tell them because they've got the wrong sized um, wick holes on them. But anyway, I think they're great. That's me. I'll leave it at that. John Martin is wrong. He is. And he used to work in a petrol station. Not many people know that. Um... This, still vaping away with this. Um, the skull mod, I will get a review onto a review for this at the weekend with the Dome RTA. I'm a bit more comfortable with that now. Um, and this is, uh, there's a certain gentleman out there that will recognize that tank on the top. Uh, thank you, young sir. Uh, I still really good this. This is. That was also a present, that, that tank. Mr. Mr. Tooney, Tooney. Um, Juice-wise, I have mostly, uh, pretty much been, once again, uh, the old ball bag by Vaping King. Um, I'm still hammering my way through that. I really like it, it's, it's refreshing. Um, and I've kind of gone back to my goose juice this week. Um, I have been vaping a lot of the coil vape stuff, but um, this week it's been mostly goose juice. Because um, I like it a lot. Um, other than that, um, what else can I tell you? Uh, oh, last night we watched, what did we watch last night? Passengers. Uh, two very good looking people in it, in a spaceship. Um, it was pretty boring, to be honest. It was pretty boring. Uh, where's my YouTube channel? I have a YouTube channel. Uh, also continuing to watch Sneaky Pete. Thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, subscriptions. I've told you about the videos I did. Um, oh my God. I have watched nothing. Oh, I watched uh, Young Mr. Mortar um, uh, do his review on the Soul and the Soulless, um, which is this. This this is the Soulless, the mini version here. I did a video for it. It wasn't a proper review. It really wasn't a. I talk shite a lot. I, I mean, an awful lot. Um, when I do a review, I make a conscious effort to do. Blah -de blah with the specs up close, really as detailed as I can, and do my best by it. When I do a, a not a review, it's usually because it's me just coming into the shed, switching the camera on, going, hey, hey look at this. And, and that's what it was for that. Uh, Damien did a good review for it. Um, he was also wrong. The 510 pin is adjustable. Um, but like me, it's not obvious how to adjust the 510 pin and Del Boy if he sees this will call me all the names under the sun when I say what I'm going to say next adjusting the 510 pins a pain in the arse anyway so uh, um, uh, yeah I better move on because uh, he'll beat the shit out of me if he ever catches up with me um, and that's it that's all I've watched Um yeah, that is all I've watched. Holy shit. Who oh dear, I've not watched a lot. Um and, and that's yeah uh, I've 
Do you know what it is? I've just been so so busy at work um, that I just this the the whole reviewing thing is just taking a kind of a, a back a back seat uh, this week. Um, I'll also say I'll say this as well. Um, I've worked in corporate environments and stuff like that, blue collar, what not, white collar. It, it, where you had HR departments and I must admit that in the past I always thought that people that worked in HR departments were devil spawn. Uh, I really did. Um, I've spent most of this week doing interviews for, for jobs that are going at the company I work for um, and that's really the first time where I've had to do the interviews myself and exhausting. Holy shit, how people do that as a full time job interviewing people. Uh, it can be, yeah, it's hard, hard going, very hard going. So I take back what I thought of people that worked in HR before. Um, most of it, most of it. Uh, dig, 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 I've got that, I've done that. That's, what's he wanting, what's he wanting to know? I have nothing else. This is a quick, very quick, short one. I do have others, I have a mod coming from Portugal it's a mechanical mod and it's it, it's got like a cork sleeve on it. Um, I mean, that, well, Portugal and cork kind of go hand in hand. You know, it's their thing. Uh, but it's it's it looks really smart. I've also got uh, Wayne from Bratis Mods. Um, I reviewed one of his mods in the past. <laughs> This guy takes huge, I'm not saying other people don't, but he takes massive pride in what he puts out. Ah, oh, see this phone. See this phone. Right, two seconds. And back again. Yes, Wayne, Bratis Mods. Reviewed his mod in the past. Um, a guy takes a great deal of pride in what he does. It shows in his work. It's just perfect. Uh, anyway, he's sending me on a, a mechanical squonker, uh, well, MOSFET squonker. Um, I, somebody on his group posted one up last night, I think a guy called Todd bought it. Um, and it you know, looks stunning. So I'm kind of quite excited about getting one to actually show off to you um, because it's just startling, it's just gorgeous. Um, I also have from Jack Vapor. For those of you who don't know, Jack Vapor is an e-cig company who are from Edinburgh, which is just over there. Over there. Uh, Edinburgh is over there. Um, they've asked me to review some stuff for them in the past. I've always said no, mainly because at one point I was so busy <clears throat> I didn't necessarily think what they were offering for me to review was my kind of thing. This time they've got a DNA 75 mod, which I think I can review and I can show to you guys. And I'm actually quite chuffed that I'm finally getting to show you something by them because they are essentially a local company to me. Um, those of you, I don't know. People that have been vaping for a long time will know Jack Vapor. Uh, they used to do... Uh, vape kits, I mean they were high quality starter kits back in the day when you got a Jack Vapor starter kit you, you just it was just different to your usual ego type pen type stuff it was just they were very very good um, they didn't use a standard 510 though um, oh my god I completely forgot I used to know all the different variations of connectors off the top of my head no idea. Can't remember now. Can't remember. But they used a different one to the norm. Um, uh, what else do I have coming? Oh! Oh! Uh, the guys that behind the Loch Ness mod, they did like a... Uh, you know, kind of like Vape Droid. Vape Droid were a uh, bit of a laddie da company. And then kind of teamed up with China and produced the, the Vape Droid. Uh, C1D2, uh, which I love. Uh, well, Loch Ness have kind of done the same kind of thing. Uh, so I've got one of their mods coming, an RTA, and also a starter kit as well coming from them. So 
I've kind of opened the doors a little bit. I've got stuff coming from Shadow Vapor as well. I've been waiting on that for a while now. Uh, I think it's got walkabout in the post. So I've actually got a fair bit of gear coming um, and it's not all la -di da high-end stuff. It's a mix of both. Um, just I'm, t I'm, t I'm trying to get my, my finger out and, and get back into this again and, and commit a bit more time again to doing the reviews because I've been awfully lazy of late and I apologise for that. I apologise for that. Um, uh, I just said that and I said that with the best intentions but that depends how busy I am at work. Um, that also depends how busy I am at home uh, because for those of you that are married, um, you will know that uh, women like to do lists. Big lists. Um, when I got married and uh, after the honeymoon and I got home and whatnot, my list was like on a post-it note. My list now, 25 years later, is like a feckin' phone book. It's massive. Uh, so I will be committing more time to that. And you're probably bored to death. By now, I really have been talking some shit today. <laughs> right, I'm away. Uh, guys, as always, thank you for uh, sticking with me. And, um, and that's it. We'll catch you next time. Bye, guys. Push this button. Sorry. Bye.